time of crashing. And right. then you can go through the files and stuff and and uh are we recording? <laughs> hey, welcome back to UBS <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't know there was gonna be a cutscene, so I just I was gonna be like, oh we can prepare and have Leon just stand there. But uh Chris's was uh, assisting me with some issues that I've been having for what seems like decades now with my computer. Yeah. This, this I know the feeling, Leon. <laughs> oh shit! I need to put on subtitles. And fear not, everybody. Um, I will not spend uh, eleven minutes explaining a single fucking scene in a horror movie in this episode. <laughs> God damn, dude. Like, <laughs> I watched the last episode back, and I was just like, get to the fucking point, Joe. Well, it didn't feel that long to me, but... Oh, it did for me. I'm all right now. I'm going to continue my mission. I spent as long as that scene actually is in the movie explaining um, the fucking scene. Uh, what? Hold on. I need to... Wait. Is there no subtitles? I guess not. Okay, well, fuck me. Alright. <sighs> Sorry, everyone. I tried. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of the hard thing about doing a Let's Play of, like, an action game where there's ha something happening, like, every approximately 15 seconds. Especially if you're trying to tell, like, a long-winded story. It tends to, uh, drag a bit. Yeah. Uh, oh. Well, it's, like, it, it's hard to talk when you're playing games. Yeah, like, I used to get really mad at, like, when I would watch Game Grumps, where, mm -hmm. like, Aaron would, like, tell a story or something like that and it would take him forever to talk about it I'd be like dude like I know you have ADD but please fucking get to the point <laughs> and then fast forward to uh, last episode where you I did the same barely thing. got through yeah I barely got through explaining a scene in a horror movie so look, one other thing I was gonna mention was because uh, we were talking about um, like paranormal videos Mm -hmm. was, um, like, some of the shit that, like, you've experienced at your parents' house. Mm, yeah. And, like, I've also experienced as well. Um, mm -hmm. And I just, I remember, uh... What are you buying? Wasn't there, like... I don't remember, like, wasn't there, like, a story that you told me that your mom... Uh, like oh, your mom was the face. Yes. Yeah. Please oh, tell that because that's that's fucking scary. Oh, it's so scary. And it gives me an excuse to not speak for an extended period of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, we used to have a bunch of weird stuff happen at a uh, at the house I grew up in, which a couple of years ago burned down in one of the fires. Um, but which quick side note. That the fire that burned down my parents' house was started by a guy that murdered a girl and was trying to. Oh my to, god, that's right! And tried to was trying to hide the body. And because there were other wildfires going on, and he thought like, "Oh, I'll just light her on fire, and then they'll just think it was you know a wildfire," and it burned down a lot of homes. <laughs> Yeah, and, fuck that guy. Oh, yeah, it, it was absolutely, like, devastating for a lot of people. I mean, also including, you know, her family and everything, but... Uh, anyways, there used to be a lot of weird shit that happened in that house where, you know, noises in the middle of the night, you know, seeing weird stuff happen. Like, we, we used to have uh, cabinets and, and stuff that you know, slam open and closed repeatedly. And you know, my family never really believed in that kind of stuff. And we, you know, none of us are religious at all. And we're not, 
I don't know, we're just normal ass people. Um, and so when we first moved there, uh, I was the first one to start like experiencing weird stuff, and I'd, I'd hear things at night, and I'd hear like knocking on my windows um, when I was trying to go to sleep. You know, like it sounded like knuckles on the window, and I look out there, and there's like nothing. And then my uh, my parents started, well, not my dad. My dad is one. <laughs> like my dad just does not perceive that kind of stuff. He's very you know scientific, and he just doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't phase him. Yeah, but. I remember uh, when we first moved, uh, when you and me first moved into the apartment and, like, your parents took us out to dinner to, like, celebrate. And, like, I think your mom had asked me, like, I forget how it got brought up, but, like, it got brought up of, like, the face that I saw. Mm hmm And, like, I was telling the story and, like, I remember I looked at your dad and he kind of just had this look on his face where I, like, I don't think he like didn't believe me, but he was just like, all right. Yeah. He, he like anytime people tell stories like that, he just like, doesn't listen. It's really funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but anyways, yeah. So, uh, yeah, all, sort, all sorts of stuff like that happened. I'm sure I can tell more, more, more stories as time goes on. But so this is when, I think I was in high school. No, 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 no. I, I wasn't in high school. I was, uh, I think I was about 19 or 20. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, Oh, really? Oh, I thought you were like, oh, I thought you were in like middle school or something. No, this is when we worked at Long's. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Well, fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, by the way, me and Joe used to work together a long time ago. Oh, and God. Uh, and like the, the shit that we, well, I'll tell a story after you tell this one, but <laughs> yeah. like, the shit that we experienced at fucking Long's, too. Oh yeah, yeah. That, yeah, the the the, the classic Longs ghost. Um, but so it, it was in the middle of the day, and it was it was about one or two o'clock in the afternoon, and I was actually playing uh, medieval Total War <laughs> on my computer in my room, <laughs> and uh, I'm just sitting there, and it, it was we had some family over. I think my grandma was over, and I was playing the game, and all of a sudden I hear my mom just let out a blood-curdling scream in the kitchen, and then I hear, like, a dish shatter on the ground. And I'm like, oh, fuck, what just happened? So I, uh, run out there, and she's standing in the kitchen and looking into this hallway, um, that, that came off the kitchen, and she has her hands over her mouth in, in shock, and her eyes are all watery. And I was like, what, what happened? What the hell's going on? And it took her a minute to say anything, but when she finally was able to you know, say something, uh, she had seen... There, so there's a there was a hallway that came off that bathroom. I mean, it came off the kitchen and with a bathroom right to the immediate right in the hallway. And what she saw was a large like shadowy figure it was really tall and skinny and its face was in the top right corner of the doorway peeking out of the top right so it was really tall and it was essentially my face but with a giant smile and she said it didn't seem like it was evil or anything like that she didn't get like an evil feeling it, it was just like a prank. It felt like a someone was pranking her. And as soon as she screamed, it kind of just receded into the bathroom and disappeared. That resembles occult groups and, and that was it. Into the bathroom? Yeah, because it, it was like in it, what she said that it, it was inside the bathroom peeking out. Oh, I see. At okay. the very top corner of the door. <laughs> so, it, I mean, you have to be seven foot something to be able to do that and then when she screamed it just kind of like you know hid behind the wall that's and, um that's terrifying yeah and she's never seen anything like that since it was just that one time and we would mostly hear stuff uh like knocking in the walls which i mean that i'm sure some of those could be pipes and whatnot but uh, a lot of sounds that were not 
you know, just the house settling or anything like that. It was very bizarre. Oh, one weird thing that we would hear every every so often was um, people talking in the house, and it sounded almost like The Sims. You know, like in The Sims, they just kind of it's just gibberish, well, simlish, and yep. it's just like hum yeah, it. And it's literally what it sounded like. It, it sounded like it should have been English, but they weren't words. And uh, it, what's really crazy is that watching those paranormal shows and stuff, there's a lot of people that experience that same thing where they hear uh, like voices that sounds like English, but it, it, there's no actual words. And there, there was one time where both me and my mom heard it at the same time during the day and we were so we were just hanging out i was i think i was just like reading a book or something like that in the living room and my mom is i think at like our breakfast table reading the newspaper or something like that and there was like no tv on there was nothing and so i'm sitting there and all of a sudden i hear people talking and i hear what sounded like you know when you're in a restaurant and you hear dishes like clanking and like you hear silverware clanking and mm -hmm. it's just that that restaurant noise yeah it was like that with people talking and so i'm kind of like looking around I was like did i leave a tv on or something like that and so i you know went in my room to go see if my tv was on and nothing was on and so i walked back out and go up to my mom like do you hear that and she's like, yeah. I thought you thought it was your TV or something. I was like, there was nothing on. And so we started walking around the house trying to figure out what it was. And then eventually we realized that no matter where we were in the house, it sounded identical. Like, it didn't change. Where No matter where we went. And it eventually just faded away. It was... Like, it, like, it just, like... Like, did it sound like they were, like, like the voices were, like, leaving, or it just kind of stopped? It just kind of, it's like someone turned the volume down. Oh, weird. It was super weird. And it uh, didn't matter if we were in the kitchen or if we were in, you know, the master bedroom. It, it was the same everywhere. Right. Super trippy. So, here's my theory. Um... You're all crazy. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, so you guys are my fucking theory, idiots. <laughs> fucking weirdos. Um, my theory. I mean, I not not like the voices, but and this ties into like the the Long's ghost. Um, I'm convinced that you have a doppelganger. That that you were not the only person to say that. And here's why I say that. Um, so, there was one night, and again, this is, we were at Long's, I think it was, it might have been CVS at this point, actually, but, um, we were, but point is, we were at work, and, um, when it was slow, like, you and me would just, like, hang out in the back and just, like, fucking talk and just, like, hang out and wait for our shift to end so we could fucking go home, and this particular night... I was on the the floor, and our store had uh, like windows up on the wall, so it, it's it's for like employees, so they can like look up and see like oh is somebody trying to steal or whatever. And I remember I was on some aisle, and I looked up in the mirrors, and I saw you walk to the warehouse, and I was like oh there's Chris, and what the. He lives. Anyway. <laughs> um, and I was like, oh, there's Chris. So, like, I walked to the warehouse, and I saw you walk through the double doors over by the baler. And I, like, I saw you go through there. And I maybe, like, I don't know, ten seconds after I saw you walk through the doors, I walked through there. And I looked to my left, and I didn't see you. And I looked to my right. Whoa, what the... 
I got a gold egg. Oh, yeah, I think it was fully heal, heal you. Yeah. Um, and I, I saw you, like, over by the liquor cage, which, for the sake of the story, was probably, I don't know, maybe 20 feet away from where I was. But you kept walking, and I was like, yo! And, like, you kept walking. And you turn the corner, and... Um... I was like, you know, again, maybe like five seconds behind you or something like that. And when I turned the corner, there was a a door there. And it was one of those like push doors where like, you know, you push it and like swings open and then it like swings back and forth until it closes. And um, the door wasn't moving. And I was like, okay, unless he's like fucking with me and he's just like, you know, I'm like trying to get it. I'm like trying to like get his attention, and he's just like, haha, and just like trying to get away from me. Um, and like maybe you like as you like went through the door, you like closed it so it wouldn't like swing or whatever. And I walked through the door, and I remember I looked up at the mirrors, and I saw you at the front of the store, and I think you were buying like a drink or something. And I was like, uh, what the. F like, you would have had to run really fucking fast to get from the back of the store all the way up to the front register and, like, already, like, paying for your drink or whatever. Well, I, I when this happened, I didn't work there anymore. I had already left. Because I remember you texted me, and you, because you, you texted me, and you was like, were you just in the store? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm at work. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. I, I did not work there when that happened. Which is even more fucked up. <laughs> because I was, I was never in the store. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah, I, I was living in a different city. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know then. Yeah, it, the um, God damn it. Well, that's a lot of wolves. Uh, Shotgun uh, time. Uh, oh, I gotta eat an egg. <laughs> just like crack open an egg, just swallow it whole. Stop! 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 A long time ago, um, there was a uh, a girl I was dating, and she was over at the house, and um, at my parents' house at the time. And the next day, like the the night after, she she was like, um, "Who is that little kid?" No, no, no. So. Yeah, she had, she was like, "Who's that little kid at your house on the porch?" And I was like, "What <laughs> are you talking about? There was like, there's no children in our immediate family anywhere. Like, we don't live near family. There are no children at this house ever." And she was like, "Oh my fucking god, what?" And she she was just like, "There was there was a kid on the porch." And I just, I thought it was just, a, like, your cousin or something, and I just didn't pay attention to it. And, um, we're just like, wow, that's really fucking scary. And then a month or two later, uh, stopped by the house again, and we put on some old home movies. And, um, there was a video of me like back in the 90s and I, I you know like when I was like 5 or 6 or something like that and when she looked up at the video she put she was just like oh my god and I was like what the hell's wrong and she was like oh, that's that's the kid I saw on the porch <laughs> oh wow you, it was you as a kid and she was like super freaked out um, and I mean, that's the only time I've ever heard somebody say they saw like a kid there.
that's fucking yeah i mean i <laughs> that scared the shit out of me mm -hmm. like not even just like oh maybe it was maybe it was little little tiny little chris but just like a kid like just on your porch at like late at night yeah and she said he was just like sitting on a um because there was like this little wicker love seat thing out there and he was just like sitting on it oh god yeah you know? it is crazy like how many how many people have had like stories of, of being at the house and like some weird shit happening yeah like it'd be one thing if like if you were just like oh yeah huh, my house is haunted huh and I would be like, oh, okay, like, because that's kind of everybody's reaction when somebody's like, oh, yeah, my house is haunted, or, like, I've seen some, like, weird stuff in my house. It's like, your first reaction is just, like, not believe them. Mm -hmm. But the fact that, like, the stories that you've told me, and, like, I, I, I think, like, when I first met you, you told me about a couple things that had happened, and, like, of course, like, my, my reaction was, like, okay. And then one of the first times I went to your parents' house, like, I asked your mom. Ow. Oh, my God. Did that kill me? Oh, okay. Almost. Um, Gold egg. I, <laughs> oh, mix, mix the uh, yellow herb. I don't know if I can. No, I can't. Uh. It has to be, like, a, a third of each. Oh, it has, to, it, it has to have red in it, doesn't it? Oh, no, no, it just has to have one green. That's, that's yeah, it can't have, like, two green. Like, you can't combine, like, two of one herb and then, like, one of another. It has to be, like, one and one and one or one and one. Um, that's stupid. <laughs> get your shit together, Capcom. But um, I remember, like, I asked your mom about, like, some of the stories that you had told me, and I was expecting her to be, like, I don't know what you're talking about or something like that. And she was like, yeah, no. And she went into, like, even greater detail. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, my God, he's telling the truth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, not, I, not like not that I didn't believe you, but I was just like, well, yeah. It's again, a, like, when it comes to, like, paranormal shit or so, stuff like that, your gut reaction is just, like, not believe someone. Yeah, because, like, most, like, a lot of the time, like, stuff can be explained with, you know, like, weird stuff just happens sometimes. Yeah. And I think that, like... Even like what I saw at your at your parents' mm -hmm. house, that just kind of cemented it to, for me that like, okay, there's there's some there's some shit going on around here. Mm-hmm. Well, um, well, yeah, I remember when that happened. So so Joe saw a face in the window. Um, we we were outside, and we we came out through the garage and outside the garage. The, 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 like the the small back door in the garage there were a few windows and we came out of the garage and Joe was walking in front of me and no 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 I was behind you were you behind me because you you booked it out to the front <laughs> you like yeah, you were you were in, you were in front of me and um, I was behind you and I walked through the door from your parents kitchen to the garage and to the right, there was a door that led to the side yard. And through that door, if you were standing at a certain angle, you could see, like, um, I guess it would be your the, your parents' like dining room. It, it was like the area. breakfast nook kind of thing. Yeah. And, whoa. And I just, what the? Hmm. And um, I just saw a face, like, staring at me. Oh, it's lightning. That's, what the? Um, I just saw a face staring at me, and I remember I remember this so fucking vividly. I stopped, and I just kind of looked at it, and then it pulled back and, like, disappeared into the darkness. And that's that's when I, like, I booked it. Because, like, it, I don't know what it was. Like, it didn't, like... It, it's so hard to explain. Like, it didn't, like... It wasn't like, oh, it's backing up and it's going to run towards me. Like, something about how, like, it looked at me... It just scared the fuck out of me. Oh, it's fucking and, terrifying. Yeah, and I just like, oh, there's dogs over here. And I didn't see it at all, and you just ran. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? 
Because all you, yeah, you, like, you just said, oh fuck, and then you ran, and then I just like walked out to the front to see what was going on, and you lit a cigarette, and you're just like, oh, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, good. Like normally, like I don't know, like when I see something that like I'm not sure what it is, my first reaction isn't to run. It's to like kind of. I mean. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but, like, normally when I'm like, what the fuck is that? I'll stop and, like, stand there for a minute or, you know, a few seconds to see, like, what it is. And then I'll try and figure out, like, in my head, I'm like, okay, what actually is this? And then I'll come to a conclusion and it'll be, like, you know, just my mind playing tricks on me or whatever. But am I supposed to go in there? I think I am. Um, but, like, for some reason, it just, like, it gave me such a weird feeling that, like, that's not a person. And I remember I asked you, I was, like, I, I think after I had already, like, booked it and, like, we had already, like, lit our cigarettes, I was, like, is your dad home? And you're, like, no, he's, he's on, uh, he's on business. And I was, like, well, where's your mom? And you're, like, she's in bed. And I was, like... Okay, and the 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 position the face was in it was we, really, yeah, like we really tried to low. recreate it and we couldn't. Yeah, like I think like not that night because I was too scared to go over there. But I think like the next time we went up there, which if I remember correctly was the first time Stephanie was at your parents' house, and like we were talking about it and we tried to recreate it and it just like the 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 angle of what was it like. The angle of the face with the windows, it just, like, didn't make sense. Well, yeah, like, the the where you saw the face was only, like, a foot off the ground. Yeah. And, to, like, to this day, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I think about that, like, all the time. It, no, I didn't mean to do that. Um, Super fucking Oh, good weird. fucking job. <laughs> I fucked it. I fucked us. Uh, well, yeah, that kind of stuff oh, sticks I, I with you. It, it's... Yeah, especially because, like... It's spoopy. I think that's right. Okay. Because, um, like, you know, I, I grew up watching, like, sightings and unsolved mysteries and shit like that. And sightings you always... Sightings so fucking good. Oh, God. I need to find that uh, that YouTube channel that you found that had all the sightings episodes on it. Oh, if you just look up uh, sightings TV show playlist. And oh, okay. it, it's in a whole playlist. But, like, I grew up watching that stuff, and, like, every, you know, every night before I go to bed, I'd be like, what if aliens are, what if there's an alien outside my window? Or, like, you know, what if there's a ghost walking down the hallway? You know, like, as a little kid, but, like, when you get older, you're like, eh, who knows if this stuff is actually, like, real. But then when you actually, like, witness something that you can't really explain, oh, real, it, like, real quick. It, does, it, it does stick with you. Listen to her voice. It's I'm Sandy from SpongeBob. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. Yeah, I can hear it. Anyways. Well, howdy! It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating myself. <laughs> yes, Leon, I know it's you. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another In my ass. I was literally going to say that. <laughs> anyway. Have you played oh. the Go one ahead. last one last spooky story? Remember when you we were at the Let's house? Let's save it for the next episode of DPS Ultra. Uh, good call. Oh, goodbye, everyone. <laughs>